Hello everyone, you're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious home cooked dishes to share with your family and friends. Today we're making a cucumber salad with dill, mint, pickled red onions, and love. Let's get started. First off, we're making the dressing. I'm using one half of a cup of white vinegar. You could use a champagne or a white wine vinegar if you want to be a little fancy. Quarter cup of water and a third of a cup of granulated sugar. We're going to mix that in there, mix, 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 and then put it on a high heat, mix up until it just becomes clear, and then set it aside. I'm using a small red onion, and I think I'm going to use most of it. You probably want to end up with a half a cup to three quarters of a cup, depending on how much you like onion. The key is, though, that it's not going to be raw onion we're putting in here. It's going to get marinated in the vinegar water sugar solution and it'll lose a lot of its bite and become kind of pickled. Love the color of a red onion. So beautiful. We're going to give this onion nice thin slices like this slice. Too thick. Mm -mm. So I think the key is that the onion gives you like a nice burst of flavor and a little bit of bite, but it's not going to be overpowering. So part of that is controlling the size of the slices. Today I'm making the salad for a barbecue, but it would go perfectly with my stuffed chicken breast. You can click up here for that, or you could make this with some spanakopita and you would be in heaven as a Greek spinach pie and it's a family favorite. Click up here for that. Notice, no tears. No tears from the onions because of magic. All right, so what we're gonna do is let this hang out over here in that vinegar mixture, just move it around. And then while we do the rest of our prep, this will be marinating and losing all that onion bite that, you know, no one wants to kiss you after that. This will fix that. This recipe calls for three English cucumbers. However, I totally spaced out at the market. I call it dad brain and I bought regular cucumbers, but that's fine too. You don't have to use English cucumbers. The only reason that's specified in a lot of recipes is they have a beautiful, delicate skin, so you don't have to peel them. But I wanted to peel them anyways to get some more visual interest. So here's what we're going to do. Just peel off a few strips, not all of the skin, and then you'll have like, just like a little bit of a stripey situation happening and it'll make your salad all the more beautiful. Regular cucumbers, I'm pretty sure, have like a good amount of produce wax on them as well, so the skin isn't always amazing to eat. So we're gonna give these a pretty thin slice. How thin is kind of up to you. Some people want a big chunk of cucumber. Some people want paper thin little wafers that become kind of more soft. I'm someplace in the middle, so about like an eighth of an inch or so. You can add some variety. See, so I totally love the way these pieces look with just a little bit of the skin hanging out. They look so fancy. Repeat this process for the other two and we'll move on. So I mentioned the barbecue, but I'm kind of excited because the weather is finally warming up enough to have like outdoor entertaining for real. So firing up that barbecue, making a bunch of sides, there will be a potato salad and some good times, we're having friends over, and as a new dad, and two years counts as new still, I don't get to see my friends enough. So this is a special salad for a special occasion. So here's the deal. These cucumbers are basically pure water. So as soon as we add in our dressing and our salt, they're going to weep out a lot of water and you'll have kind of a watery mess. Maybe you like that, in which case, move it along. But if you don't want to have your dressing so watered down, then what we're gonna do is salt these cucumbers. They will release a lot of water with salt. So, so I'm using a teaspoon of salt and just sprinkling it over my layers of cucumbers. Toss them up. Basically, you wanna distribute the salt to all the different pieces. Now they taste delicious, by the way. Mm. Cover them up. Pop them in the fridge, and we'll be back in like maybe half an hour, an hour. We'll see you soon. So it's been about 40 minutes, and let's take a look at what happened. They look just like normal cucumbers, but what's all this stuff? That's the extra water that we didn't want in our salad. I mean, I should have used a strainer. What am I thinking? If this wasn't so salty, I would drink this straight. Maybe for like a dirty martini? I don't know. Setting it aside, here we have are deliciously less watery cucumbers. And while that was chilling, this was just hanging out and we have 
some semi-pickled mm, red onions. Just pour this over and give it a toss. This is perfectly delicious, just like this. You can chill it or you can keep going like we are. All right, first off is some fresh dill. I love fresh dill. I'm so happy whenever I go to a market where they sell it in big bunches like this instead of those little plastic containers, which are totally not cool people. They're also so expensive. That's like $8 for, for like half a sprig. Harvesting a lot of this dill, removing a couple of the stems, and this is around, my recipe says a quarter cup, but you know, it's like garlic. How much do you want? But I love dill. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's for older people who watched that Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> now, totally delicious, but what else could we add? How about just a little bit of fresh mint? Yes, mint and cucumber, hello, let's get that. Now, John talks about the sa sad plastic containers. John whips out a sad plastic container. Ah, move some of that dill aside. Let's just remove the leaves. You can give them a rip. You can give them a little bit of a chop or whatever makes you happy as it is your salad, yours. If anyone in Texas is watching or a Southern state, would you let me know if I don't give a rip is something people say, or is that just one character on Real Housewives of Dallas? Let me know. I don't give a rip. Do people say that? All right, so, oh my God, this would be the best. I could totally get some gin right now and be real happy or some tequila, just saying. Anyways, maybe a quarter cup of mint sprinkled in there and uh, I would say you're done. All you wanna do now is season with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. That is wonderful. This tastes like summer. The mint, the cucumber, how could you say no to this? It's a perfect side dish for nearly anything I can think of, but oh my gosh, you've gotta trust me on this, just try it. Even if you don't like onions, these are like candy now. If you like this recipe, you've gotta check out this playlist that I made just for you. Click up here for that. It has a ton of recipes like shrimp tacos, avocado citrus salad, everything that you would want for a warm summer day for a perfect meal. If you like my recipes, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.